So, David, thank you very much. And thank you very much to the speakers from our opening session, Madam Sun, uh, Mr. Liu, and, uh, of course, the, the Foreign Secretary. As you've heard, my name is Ian Scott. I'm a managing editor at the Economist Intelligence Unit. If you've not heard about us, we're uh, a sister company, if you like, to the uh, Economist newspaper, uh, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. Um, the Economist is, uh, uh, there's probably little doubt about it, one of the best known brands in media, uh, in, the, in the publishing sector, and I'm very honoured today to uh, be your moderator for today's discussion in this room on brands. I'm, I'm just going to introduce the topic very briefly before I take you through the format uh, for today's session. Um, some people, perhaps nobody in this room, but some people out there might be wondering why uh, some of the most powerful business and political brains in uh, China and Britain have gathered here in this place today to talk about brands. Why are we lavishing so much attention on creating, disseminating, promoting, maintaining, uh, protecting, and now, of course, discussing brands? So it's, it seems like quite an intangible concept. Why are we talking about products or services or sort of something real, is what some people might say. Well, uh, by way of explanation, um, I'm going to tell a little story about um, this room and this building in which we're spending today, uh, Lancaster House. It's a beautiful building. It was, it was uh, built uh, some time ago, but bought in 1914 by um, a, a great Briton, uh, Sir William Lever. Um, he was certainly you no know, artist. We've seen some wonderful art on the, on the walls around us today, but he certainly appreciated art. What he did was made soap. He was a soap maker. And he founded a little company uh, which is now called Unilever, uh, which today has a market capitalization of about 63 billion US dollars. In 1915, the year after he bought this house, Sir William gave it away to Britain as a gift to the nation. So the fact that we're here today and we can enjoy this building and talk about brands in it uh, is down to the foresight of a famous builder of international brands. Over the course of today, we're going to be hearing a great many more stories uh, in the hands of people a good deal more knowledgeable than myself. Um, we are about to lead into a panel discussion, but be before we do, uh, we have a couple of, uh, of terrific speakers who are going to introduce the topic to you. Um, beginning with our first speaker, uh, Mr. Ed Vasey, the Minister for Culture, Communications and Creative Industries. Mr. Vasey, I'd like to invite you to, to take the floor.